Hello, everyone, and welcome to the RPG Exploration Society here on Saving Throw Show. I'm the chemical burn from the spiral perm they just can't get rid of, Stephen Pope. And I am thrilled to be here tonight to show you Queers, the role-playing game from uh, Son of Oak Studios. The name of the game is Queers. I'm not just introducing a bunch of queers plus a hetero who we, uh, you know, we love him, but he's on thin ice. <laughs> That's fair. We have to have a token hetero, I guess. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Queers is the Sentai-inspired role-playing game from Son of Oak, now on Kickstarter. In its last week, we are getting, we are so close to unlocking some amazing things. And in fact, tonight, you are going to see a character who has not been played yet. A pre-made character who has been in beta and we're very excited to bring to you. And let's go ahead and meet them and the person playing them. And I'm going to throw it over to Riley. Hi there. Hello. I actually just realized that all of your captions are coming through my microphone. So I'm going to have to oh. plug in my headphones, I think. That's uh, a problem. No, that's fine. I'll plug in my headphones. Uh, yes, hello. I am Riley Silverman. You may know me from Wednesday nights here on Saving Throw Show, where I am the GM of Dice X Machina. I also played in the first ver online uh, demo of this game on Hyper, where I played Willie. But tonight, I'm playing Carol Butch. And I'm very excited to play the rocker lesbian character. This is so fun. This is like... This is like my my Peter Capaldi doctor moment happening. <laughs> I play the everyone's rocker grandma character. I don't know if she's grandma. Hey, 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 hey. You're already the doctor, okay? You don't need to compare. <laughs> she is my doctor, after all. I'm not going to apologize for that. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of Doctor Who nerdy, Ness, let's throw it over to a dear friend of mine and the first time on Saving Throw Show, Nikki Wallen. Hi, I'm Nikki Wong. I'm going to be playing. Twinkie Camp, um, their pronouns are they, them. And this is my first time playing Queers. So I'm really excited. Um, I've worked with Steven on several other projects and also a few other streams that we've done, other channels. So this is the first time being here. Excited to be here. Very happy to have you here. Next up, there are Token Hetero on Thin Ice, but we love them very much. <laughs> my friend Kyle Stroud. Hi, uh, I'm Kyle Stroud. I will be playing Dr. Teddy Wolf. Woof, excuse Wolf. me. <laughs> uh, and uh, don't worry, just because I am the token hetero does not mean I'm going to make Dr. Teddy Wolf the token hetero. Uh, he will remain as gay as he always has been. Uh, he is, uh, his pronouns are he, him, as are mine. And uh, I've actually never streamed before. This is my first time. Oh, yay! Be gentle. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> well, we're super happy to have you here. And next, they you might recognize him from Life Action Role Play. They are a wonderful person to know, Brian Omega. Hey, everybody. My name is Brian Omega. Um, as Stephen mentioned, I run the channel Life Action Role Play, where I do unusual content like uh, online LARPs. Um, we do Breaking Bard, which is a Shakespeare adaptation show. And I am going to be playing Harvey M., the uh, youngest and most idealistic of the um, of the Sentai group, uh, and he just discovered himself. But he also wants to help everybody else in the group, and he isn't sure how this all works. So we will see what happens. <laughs> Very excited to have you playing Harvey. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Son of Oak or their award-winning game. City of Mist, which I did run once upon a time here on Saving Throw Show. This is an adaptation of the Powered by the Apocalypse system. Now, that means you will roll 2d6. These are d6. I know they look like d12s. They're not. Well, this one is because I grabbed the wrong die, but still. <laughs> <laughs> you will roll 2d6, and you instead of adding a random number, you will add an attribute you have that seems applicable. For example, uh, let's throw it over to Riley real quick. Yeah, so, what's up? Riley, uh, Carol finds herself fighting against an a uh, ignorant threat who has summoned a giant cannon of douchebaggery. How are you going to take care of that? Uh, I am going to rock the Casbah, which is my signature move. I'm going to use my voice to lift people up, and I've got my power tag, which is a rainbow blast. So I'm just going to, like, use my voice in, like, a, in, in a very, like, black canary kind of way and it's but i say it's a rainbow canary and so i'm gonna like hit a note and a bunch of music's gonna come flying out of my mouth and break the cannon down to its core hell fucking yeah 
So that move is going to be uh, that is going to be uh, that, that, that slay when you need to roll we need to impress or kick someone's butt, you roll to slay. So Riley, what tags do you have that feel like might be applicable here? Oh yeah, my, my tag I'm gonna run was uh, Rainbow Blast. And I think, uh, I'm gonna play, say queer as punk. Cause I think it's pretty queer to like, pretty punk to like use your voice to destroy weapons. Absolutely. And I'm also going to say, since it is a big uh, sound blast, I think you should use the tag sound blast. Oh yeah, that sounds good too. I was thinking, <laughs> I don't know why I picked Rainbow Blast. I think I just misread the wrong thing. Uh, but I will give myself the weakness tag of oh. no volume control. <laughs> that is great. So you can invoke weakness tags, which get you, uh, which get you uh, pretty much experience points on that book. If you get enough, you can unlock things. In the full game, you'll be able to unlock new moves and attributes. But here, you'll just get more tags after you get three of them which is pretty fun. So you're going to roll 2d6 plus 2. All right. I got a 9 total. I had 7 plus 2. Nice. Uh, so much like uh, much like any Powered by the Apocalypse game, if it was a 6 or lower, I could have some fun and make a hard move. On a 7 to 9, it works with a caveat. And on a 10 plus, you just kill it. And that's pretty much the whole system. It's very easy to get into and it's supposed to be very cinematic and thematic. So we are going to be playing the demo game, which you can download right now for free. It's on cityofmist.co. It's on uh, it's on drive through RPG. You can get it anywhere uh, along with all the pre-made characters with the exception of Carol, because Carol has been unlocked thanks to our Kickstarter, but she is not available to the public just yet. Don't She's worry, right. she will be. She's all right. <laughs> all right. So, this is Heroes in the Park. <clears throat> Our story begins at Club Ducky, the historic gay bar in the city. The city is wherever you want it to be, and it has whatever you need it to have. Where exactly it is? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not that important, all right? Where where was Angel Grove? Who cares, all right? Probably in California. But Club Ducky has a very important night tonight. Probably the most important night of any gay bar's, like, entire calendar. It's the first night of Pride. It's June, and we've got a lot to get done. we got this much to do in this little time, so get into it. Uh, and right now, the owner of the bar and the leader of House Queers, Mama J Rainbow, is very much regretting that she gave up smoking like 20 years ago right now, because she can really go for one right now. But she is, boy, she's keeping it together. I'm and proud we're of gonna, And we're actually going to start off with... Uh, Teddy Woof. Teddy, doctor. Doctor Teddy Woof. Woof. My apologies, <laughs> Doctor. Important. Yeah. Doctor. Teddy didn't go to gay doctor school yeah. for, <laughs> for seven years. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. What is gay doctor school? Well, it's like regular doctor school, only just glitter absolutely everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Even in the clean rooms, you know? Especially in the clean rooms. <laughs> yeah. 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 The court. Court. So, so there's clear. actually a lot, a lot yeah. of infections happen there. A lot of sepsis. Oh, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of lawsuits. A lot of lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds I, like a nightmare. It, it might not be accredited anymore. I don't know. <laughs> God, I'm having some nightmare flashbacks when I used to live in WeHo. It's, the, it's basically the, the devil clown scene from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, but no. it's, it's a bunch of drag queens instead of clowns. Oh, my God. Drag queen doctors is a nightmare sorry. concept. I almost thought derail in your like game. That. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Teddy, tonight you are going to be the bouncer, but until then, you're the closest thing they have to a tech guy here. And right now, there is a light hanging precariously over the stage. Now, Twinkie and Carol, you both can't really practice until that's taken care of. And the only one here who knows how to deal with this stuff is Teddy. So with a loving, gentle hand, the gray-haired woman taps you on the shoulder. Sweetheart, 
please, please take care of this. I have absolutely fabulous in the back room. She's not coming out for another three hours. And when I asked, she threw, she threw a uh, bootleg uh, Jimmy Choo at my head. So please, you can just take care of that, sweetheart. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Boobalock. Thank you. No problem. I got it. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do is it? How high are we talking here? You just need a step ladder for this, and thankfully they okay. already provided you with one. Okay. Hopefully it. You know, I'm a pretty beefy guy, so hopefully it's a you know strong step ladder. Yeah, it should be. All right. Hey, you need me to hold the bottom of that for you? Keep it stable. Oh yeah, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Sounds good. Yeah. Safety first, you know. Oh God, you're really leaning into the dad thing, aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Love it. All right. So right now, the scene has the story tag. The light has a story tag acting up to, basically meaning it is two tiers into this status. If anything, it's five. It's out of the game either narratively or it explodes. I don't know. I don't, I'm not running your home game. I can if you want to though. <laughs> All right. So Teddy, how are you going to take care of this? Uh, so am I changing the light bulb or just like putting it back to where it's supposed to be? You're changing the light bulb and putting it back and making sure the wiring isn't yep. going to light Carol on fire during her show tonight. Yep. All of the above. Probably good. Uh, well, I am Mr. Fix it. Mm hmm. Uh, Might do it myself at the end, though. It's a good closer. <laughs> From in the back, you hear Mama J. Rainbow go, please don't! <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, so I have the power tag, Mr. Fix-It. Okay. Uh, and I think I could, I mean, I don't know what I'm exactly rolling here. Well, when you need to remove an existing negative status or story tag from the scene, you roll care. Okay. Um, can I use uh, the guardian power tag Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Because I'm making sure everybody's uh, safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so just roll it off. Roll 2d6 plus okay. 2. I don't think any of your weakness tags would really apply here. Would my helping him by holding the stepladder give him anything? No, but it will be funny if something goes wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, rolled seven on the dice plus two. That's a nine. So on a seven to nine, the MC gives you a tier one negative status as a side effect. So, Teddy, you get the light just right, and you see where the wire is a little bit frayed, and you just kind of... Oh, yeah, I see it. And... <laughs> so now Teddy has the, has the status zapped one. <laughs> His <laughs> Wellhawk is on edge. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Be careful up there. Oh, 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 are you okay? And he, uh, Harvey goes around it's like, we need a band aid. So he looks around for like wherever the first aid kit is. I, I know where the first aid kit is. I'll I'll get it. Okay, great. Uh uh Dr. Wood was like, can I look at that or like can I look at your hand? Is it okay and stuff? You know what? Sure, champ. Go for it. Okay, great. Um right. so I'm gonna try to use the care um action to try to just assess um, what this is, and hopefully it's not anything severe. And well, actually, that oh, sounds yeah. more like you're trying to get a clue. When oh, you try okay. to learn information, you get a clue. Oh, okay, great. So I'm going to um, try to get a clue. Um, I am adding the power tag observant. Very good um, To check. Um, and um, I'm going to say, I don't know if I can add natural sidekick. <laughs> I think that's a completely appropriate. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to roll these two six-sided dice, which just happen to be the Golden Girls. Ah, yeah. Appropriate. Ah, so. Where did you get those? <laughs> oh, I just got them at a game store. They're, it just says Golden Girls, like, and there were six of them. I'm like, why would I not get this? So, okay, is it a Yahtzee so, set? Huh? 
Was it like a Yahtzee set? You, I, I need yeah. these. So like, um, around <gasps> here, like there's a um, game store called the Game Chest, like um, here in, in Arcadia, and they just had these Golden Girls like set of six dice. And I'm like, okay, well, I have to get them or three sets. Um, but yes. anyways, all right, all right, Betty White and Rue McClanahan, make sure that I roll well and I roll a. <gasps> You're, I am not kidding you. I roll two cheesecakes. They're both sixes. <laughs> nice. So. Oh my God, this is the best dice oh, ever. Wow. So that would be. <laughs> so that would be a total of uh, twelve plus two is four. Is fourteen. All right, that's fantastic. So when you roll to get a clue, you get clues equal to the number of tags on your power, on the roll. So mm -hmm. you get two questions to ask me, the GM. I gotta be honest. Okay, great. Um, so how severe is this electrocution? Is this like- Oh, permanent? this is nothing. This is nothing. It's kind of like when a bunch of stupid teenage boys lick batteries, you know? It's, <laughs> it hurts, they're, they're dumb, but it, it's, they're fine. Um, the other question is, um, is Dr. Wolf seeing anybody right now? Uh, Dr. Wolf is old enough to be your father. Yep. I don't, I know. Know. I don't know why you think that means anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. There's literally, a term, there's literally a term for that in this community. I know. <laughs> there's, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't uh, stop Harvey, but I'm going. To, I'm going to throw that over to Kyle to decide. <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, I'm mostly focusing on uh, parenting my wonderful daughter Marie. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I go on a few dates here and then, mm -hmm. keeping my options open. Okay, that's great. <laughs> and uh, Harvey is like. Just kind of way, like nodding and just. By the way, have I showed you the pictures? And he takes out his wallet and shows you roughly a hundred. <laughs> this is wow. her when she was born. This is her when she was three. This is her when she was three and a half. And just goes until you stop. So why isn't that all on your Instagram? Like it, it just saves a lot more space. I could teach you if you, if you don't what? know how to do it. While that's happening, can I grab the first aid kit? <laughs> you absolutely. I'm actually going to give you the story tag first aid kit. Now, okay. story tags just give you a random plus one. They kind of exist to sort of be burnt. Uh, okay. So, yes, you have the story tag first aid kit. You can use that whenever you'd like. Okay, I'll run back and I'll be like, I got the first aid kit. Pinky immediately, you can tell Harvey right is <laughs> and failing the flirt. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it right between the two of them. The first day. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have a cock block, but uh... <laughs> I think he's okay. I've seen a few roadies get zapped in my day, and he seems like he's fine. I can handle it. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Of um, course. <laughs> and then I still take out like. <laughs> I still open it up. I look for like a band aid. It's not necessary. He's just gonna kind of no. do it. It's like and, and open it all, up. This is adorable. So I'm just gonna let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know where you're gonna choose to put the band aid yeah. for someone who's electrocuted. Like, what yeah. spot on their body are you picking to put a band aid over? <laughs> I mean, the place that got electrocuted. So it would be like on his finger. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. you know. So I take the finger and then I put the band aid over it. And I'm not presumptuous. I'm not going to, like, do a kiss on it or anything. Just kind of, like, and just smiles, like, and goes, okay, all better. Yay. <laughs> very cute. Yes. Um, actually, Harvey, you've been given a very nebulous job tonight. Twinkie and Carol are opening for Absolutely Fabulous. Teddy is going to be uh, the bouncer and electrician for better or for worse. You, on the other hand, have kind of been attracted by a very, very, very exhausted Mama J Rainbow. Please just help out where we need it. So what's your plan for the night besides, uh, you know, going bear hunting? So, uh, so... <laughs> I'm not apologizing oh, for that. Why, uh, why so, would you? <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, no that's, that's totally fine. Um, so Harvey is going to probably just um, occasionally go to the door. Mm -hmm. And see, like, um, to, just to make sure that people are being orderly, like, just go down the line. Um, so if there's any tickets, um, that you just make sure that they get the tickets. And then um, he will go back and just see if Mama J or, or Carol or anybody else needs help. So he's going to just be 
one of those PAs that literally runs around the club. He has a lot of energy. He has way too much energy. Not from anything artificial, just that's just who he is. Fair enough. <laughs> so when you need to, so when you roll to help out someone or set something up, you're rolling to strike a pose. So why don't you give me that roll? All right. All right. So I'm, um, oh, do I, and I do need, let me see. Um, and I need to use tags for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with um, desires peace for all because it wants to make everything work smoothly. Um, um, natural sidekick because he is trying to help everybody and um, learns by listening because he's trying to like assess everything that's going on. So I, I love all of that, but I'm going to go ahead and give you and invoke one of your weakness tags. I'm going to oh. go ahead and invoke easily overwhelmed. Oh, he is that. He is easily overwhelmed. Um, so let's see if it's um, if it's a little too much. Okay, so I got a um, a Blanche and a Rose. So that is a five. I don't plus... know numerical values for that's a that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna show there. them. So that's a five plus um. A two, so that would be a seven. That sounds like a you problem, Stephen. I think we should all know the numbers by heart. <laughs> Listen, the only thing in my heart is that B. Arthur is a 10 out of 10, okay? I mean, like, B. Arthur is, let me see. She's she's only like a two on this, I think. No, she's a four. Oh. Or a one. She's one of these. I'll, I'll look at the numbers later. Yeah. All right. So now... Uh, much like the light had, uh, you know, about to blow, had acting up too, mm -hmm. Ryan, you can now make a story tag of a similar value. And you rolled with a power of, let's see, two in total after we invoked your weakness tag. So what would mm -hmm. you like to make? This is basically a bonus that anyone can grab for any roll. Oh, okay. Um, so... Oh, is this, so is this like power tag like to help someone in particular or is this open to anybody to use? Uh, so basically what you're doing is you're creating... You can use it. Let's hit that mute button. Oh my God. One second. Oh, you gotta love dogs. <laughs> he sings the song of his people. Indeed. So what you're doing is you're creating a status tag. And oh, this okay. can be used for someone in particular, or it can mm -hmm. be kind of just shared amongst the group. And then anyone can cash it in for either this scene or another scene. Um, so I'm going to say that's going to be shared amongst the group to for whoever needs it. Okay. And I would say the status tag, I don't, like, I'm thinking like a well-oiled machine or everything's at least organized. Uh, well-organized? We'll say organized, yes. Okay. Organized too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means for the rest of the remainder of the scene, if anyone would like to, they can cash in organized two and add two to the roll. Yes. Nice. Now, okay. Twinkie and Carol, you two are very busy. You're very busy. And <laughs> right now, you wish Mama J Rainbow was able to help, but she's currently dealing with Absolutely <laughs> Fabulous who someone touched her wigs and someone will die tonight unless Mama J Rainbow gets involved. So that's happening over there. But right now you have Willie. Willie and w one of the best choreographers just stepping in and hoping it's a learning opportunity. <laughs> uh, she moves her braids to the back. Okay, so uh, Carol, I know you have a big number tonight. Um, What's the song you're going to do? Oh, I thought I might do uh, my cool, like, punk rock cover of Over the Rainbow that I do. It's kind of oh, like, a good one. you know, like when Hendrix did uh, the Star Spangled Banner? It's kind of like that, but with, like, the guitar, and it's pretty awesome. Cool, cool. Um, Twinkie, do you think you could uh, do a number to that, or is that going to be a little too, uh, I don't know, heavy? a little bit heavy for my taste but you know i can always figure something out i i, I can work with that <laughs> all right so right I, mean, I can i can play a different song if it's if you want something that has more of a beat to it what do you want i mean to i always i always like the more beat ones but whatever works for you i can work with it <laughs> I, I just want to support you and what you're doing so if if you want to do over the rainbow let's go for it 
Hey, I'm the I'm the band. I can play whatever you need. I got all the notes. I got all the songs. What's up? Hmm. How about something more lively? What are you thinking? I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing some beats. So I'm just gonna start like riffing a little bit on the guitar, and seeing what I can do to like match which what they're trying to do. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, uh, Nikki. I'm gonna ask you to roll to have Twinkie slay. Okay. And Riley, I'm gonna ask you to strike a pose. All right. Okay. So why don't we have Riley go first? What tags do you think you could use for a strike strike a pose here? All right, uh, I think that I could do rock their socks off. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to change that. I think for that, for the band, I think because I'm helping uh, Twinkie look good, I think mm -hmm. I'm going to use loyal bandmates as my tag. Oh, that's and then one. I also think I'm going to put in shreds the guitar because, I mean, that's what Carol does, is shred the guitar. But I'm going to give myself the weakness tag of image conscious because i think carol's a little bit insulted that she's opening for ab fab because like carol should be like closing this thing down and she knows that ab fab is like going to throw a big deal about it so she's like taking it and she's opening the show but whenever someone says you're opening for ab fab she's a, she just hurts her she's a little annoyed by it. i completely get that uh do you think your power tag full of surprises could apply here um, you know what? I think I could do that. Yeah, because I feel like I'm I'm kind of improvising here. I'm doing a little uh little riff on the on the old the old axe here. So All right. okay. Oh no. Uh, oh no. That mm. is a. Oh no, that's okay. That's a that's a seven. Seven, and that's what the tags. Yeah, because I rolled a, I rolled a five, and then I remembered I had the two on the tags. I had All right. plus three minus one. So. So you get to create a status of two. What would you like it to be? Uh, I think that I, I think my, I think there's like a, a riff, like a musical note that's happening here, like a cool little bridge that I've created that just like really gets in people's heads. And it's like, it's just like an infectious little beat. And an I think that like, what's that? An earworm. Yeah. And I think, but I think it's like the kind, like it's jazzed up and excited. Um, and so I think that, at any point, if someone wants to pull that out, like it'll like give them the oomph they need to like get across that finish line. Cool. All right. Uh, do you want? Do you have a name in particular for it? Um, I think I'm calling it the uh, Twinkie Twist because that's uh, I'm, I'm playing off my friend here and what her uh, what their <laughs> what their I'm sorry I'm you're looking at your pronouns, not the character's pronouns. What so, their uh, <laughs> what their moves are. Their moves are inspiring me, so I'm giving Twinkie a little uh, little Twinkie taste. How about a Twinkie taste? That sounds. <laughs> I like like, yeah. like, well, I am Carol. I am Carol. Uh, Carol Butch. So I do what I do. <laughs> All right, Nikki. I need you to roll to slay. So isn't slay more like attacking? I'm a little bit unclear. So and slay is the move you use when you need to impress or fight. Gotcha. Sometimes you'll roll to slay just to show off. All right, so maybe like Make dancing reflexes would be one of the power tags I could use. Absolutely. Could I also use like suddenly props and just like throw like glitter and up, have like streamers or something like that? Or uh, do you, you have the power tag suddenly props? It says new power tag options there. Ah, uh, so that's a fun thing. When you get three growth on oh. a uh, identity, so I don't have a, that yet. You do not have that one yet. Gotcha. In that case, um, maybe just learn new choreography could work, I guess, because I'm we're we're improving this. So, mm -hmm. and just so you know, it doesn't have to be from the same list. So you could use yeah. learn new choreography from your fighting style of Vogue, and uh, embrace your emotions from your attitude. Okay, I can do that. You can pull everything. And then under that, maybe I can add the weakness tag internal drama because she might be nervous or they not they might be nervous about doing that stuff. So. Okay. And would you like to cash in Twinkie Twist? Go for it. <laughs> All right. So you are rolling with a oh, I'm sorry, I called oh, it a Twinkie Taste. Thank you. Twinkie Taste. Oh. <laughs> My apologies. Let let me let me fix that real quick. Okay, it is now Twinkie Taste. <laughs> <laughs> It only takes a taste. I never had a twink face. I don't know. So I got eight on the dice. So. Okay. So that is plus two from the tag. How yeah. many tags did you use? 
two and then a weakness tag. All right, so it's a plus one from that and a plus two from the uh, Twinkie taste. So that oh, is three plus one. Um, nice one. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So you get well over a 10. Okay. Describe it. Paint us a word picture because <laughs> you don't just kill it. Well, I guess I'm, I'm singing. I'm, I'm coming up with new lyrics while dancing, and I'll take glitter and streamers just all of a sudden. I, I, it's not something props, but at least I have glitter in my pockets because that's something I'm definitely going to always have. I will absolutely let you have the story Thank tag you. glitter that would whenever you would like it. <laughs> um, I'm going to just, you know, just do some twists and, and jump around where we're practicing and, and or we're jamming and, and, and go with that. <laughs> and just come up with some new lyrics. <laughs> Teddy, you are currently still slightly electric. And you could probably, I don't know, maybe if you touch a car battery, you could charge it a little bit. And Harvey, you're still very stressed. And currently, Mama J Rainbow is having a shouting match with Absolute Fabulous. Uh, it's a drag queen the night before Pro the, the night of their first show on Pride. Mama J! Mama J, what's wrong? What? We're working! It's fine! All right, you don't sound fine. I promise! Okay. It's fine! Do you need help? Uh, hey, hey, fabulous? kid. Hey, yes? kid, you, uh, you've met Ab Abfab before? No. I, oh, I read... this is Abfab? Yeah, you may want to back up a little bit. Oh, okay. Just keep that, keep Just that, keep that a, voice down. Uh, another... Another fake Jimmy Choo, like the, it's not even the right color red at the bottom of the heel. It just goes flying past your head. <laughs> like, oh boy! Uh, I hide behind Carol Butch because I feel safe behind Carol. <laughs> A lot of people do. <laughs> if you need anything, I'm right here, Mama J, and absolutely fabulous. I love you. <laughs> Well, absolutely fabulous. His head begins to rotate, and you're very sure pea soup is going to be involved at any moment now. <laughs> you will hear the faint sound of dubstep. <gasps> Maybe not dubstep, but definitely bad techno from outside the club. Now, am I out there yet? Uh, that's entirely up to you. Part of my uh, bouncer duties is checking IDs at the door. Mm -hmm. So, what do I see? You see a horde of robots with large crystalline ignorant stars over their eyes. Now, as someone who is an anomaly in the world of queers, you're well aware of what that means. These are people who have been infected by ignorance. The miasma that separates human that separates humanity and blinds you to, you know, the wonders of life. And they are moving robotically with the horrible sound of bad techno behind them as they are being led by a young man with a mop of red hair and very, very large sunglasses. <laughs> oh, dear sweet Freddie Mercury. This isn't good. <laughs> Are they approaching the door? They are 100% approaching the door. So I'm going to have to see some ID. He doesn't say anything as the horde of uninformed masses gather around him. Bad example. Bad example. Think of the children. Bad example. Well, I can... See, you're here for the show. They begin holding up uh, signs. They're initially in ones and zeros before someone taps them on the shoulder and they put them back down. They pull up different signs saying, uh, shut down Club Ducky. Right. Um, do I have a, a radio or anything? Uh, it's not that big of a bar. You could probably just shout oh. over your shoulder for it. <laughs> uh, guys. We've got company. Oh, well, I guess there's, oh, I guess there's a crowd. All right. And uh, Harvey just like starts dashing out and he wants to see what the crowd looks like. 
can I like 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 grab him by the shoulder as he like goes to run by me? <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> uh, are you okay with that, Ryan? Yeah, absolutely. All right, yeah, totally. You just you grab him before he runs yeah. into danger. Yeah, I, I think we got a problem here. <laughs> oh, there's uh, I mean, some people are dressed differently, and we're not supposed to judge. He smiles really, really wide because he's uncomfortable. <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah. I mean, you see the signs. What signs? Which one? Oh, oh. 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 Um We need to do something about that. I think you're right. Um uh yeah. I can go talk to them. Maybe if they listen, like they might change their mind. <laughs> All right. Oh. I got your back. Okay, so um, Harvey um, goes out there and says, "Hey, why do you have all these signs? Club Ducky is a great place." Okay, uh, why don't you go ahead and roll to be vulnerable here? Because this could end terribly for you. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yes. So I am being vulnerable because um, I'm trying to reach out. Um, I. I'm going to go with the desires, uh, power tax, desires, peace for all, um, childlike wonder. <laughs> um, but I'm going to say um, very much, if it came down to it, an inexperienced fighter. <laughs> because he doesn't really know how to really address everybody. He just has an idea of, we should do this thing. I'm also going to invoke your other weakness tag of easily overwhelmed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Great. And so they cancel each other out. All right, let's see how You're it goes. Rolling with a zero. <laughs> rolling with a zero. Oh my. Um, so that is a four. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Immediately. Two of the robots put their arms together, almost like the fusion dance. And you are blasted with the binary beam. Uh, yep. Suddenly, Can I jump in front of him. Oh, all right, all right. That's I... that's that's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't you roll to uh, resist? Okay, well, um, I want to use uh, my guardian and parental instincts tags. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also uh, rainbow, rainbow Shield. I will oh. allow that. Can I use... Wait, how many tags can I Can I use you any amount use, of tags? Uh, up to four tags. Uh, I can either use the Big Bear or Protect Those I Love. Uh, your call, which one you'd like to use? We'll go with the Big Bear. All right. Uh, I am going to invoke the weakness tag Mother Hen. Okay. So roll with a plus three. That is eight plus three, 11. Dang. Nice. All right. So <clears throat> you see this blast of unpure, uncut uh, ignorance blasting at you. It's gray and miserable, and it's going to put you in a flannel suit. You just know it. And then, <laughs> uh, Kyle, how do you defend? How do you block it? How do you block him? Uh, I actually, actually enfold him in... Uh, a bear hug of my arms Aww. and and protect him Aww. from the blast. <laughs> you, uh, thankfully, this is what you're built for. Teddy. <laughs> the blast hits you and just bounces off. Carol and Twinkie from inside the bar, you can see this blast of ignorance go flying off, uh, smashing into a window and making it kind of look like those really cheap ones you get in dorm dorms. You know, it's just that it's. It, Looking at it makes you miserable. My Ugh. hero. <laughs> oh boy, this doesn't look good. You okay there, champ? I'm better now. <laughs> um, can we, we should go help yeah. them? I got a couple tricks up my sleeve. Let's go. What are we I'm doing? gonna. I'm gonna run. Is there like an upstairs, like a balcony that overlooks the outside? Like, like is it that kind of bar? 
You know what? I'm going to say yes, just because I, I have an idea of where you're going, and I'm very much in favor. Oh, I'm going full Empire Records. I'm going to lug my yes. amp and my guitar up to that balcony, and I'm going to drop it off, and I'm going to do kind of a, like, this is a song about friendship kind of thing happening. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to go out there, and I actually, I decided to look up, I, I ran a song name generator, so I got a bunch of fun random song names that are part of Carol's band, <laughs> oh, Big, okay. Big Bad Wolf. Wolf spelled like Virginia Wolf. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, songs that are uh, that are ready to go when I need them. So, so I want to yeah, I, I want to join her and help her out with that. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna do a reversal of what we did last time. Uh, Twinkie, since you decided you're going to be helping out uh, Carol, how are you doing that? Hmm. Can I? Um, let's see. So. If she's gonna be um, like singing a song, like she said, um, I can first. Um, I guess I could use maybe by supporting her, do like some new choreography, but also do like a blast of like positivity, maybe, and like use so radical acceptance. Do something like that. Okay. All right. I will allow you to do that. Go ahead and give me a uh, give me a strike a pose with a plus one. Okay. So I got a nine. That's a ten. So yep. that get so on a ten plus, you get a minimum of two juice. Juice is what we refer to before you actually make into a status okay. that you can upgrade. Um, you can either make a tier two status or you can choose from the upgrade list on the moves list. You can prolong the effect and make it go beyond one scene because generally when you strike a pose, it only affects the scene you're in. Uh, you could scale up the effect, make it, you know, boom. Or you can make the effect flashier. Because why not? <laughs> Let's go for flashier. All right. So you're <laughs> going to make a very flashy uh, tier one status. What is the status? I want them to, like, be stunned enough to be vulnerable and listen to what people are having to say. <laughs> All right. Stunned one. All right, Riley, go ahead. What's the song and how are you going to slay us? Uh, this is a little alt country number that I picked up when I spent a summer touring with the old 69ers. And uh, it's got a little twang to it, but it really hits you right in the heart. You know, it's, uh, it's a little song called Good Kisses. And it's all about finding that first young love and really like letting yourself be open to the world and how love can, and like all kinds of love can make you feel real good inside. All right, Orbelina Peck. Let's hear it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll the sleigh, and don't forget you. Uh, they currently have. They're currently stunned. So go ahead and add one to the roll. Okay, and then so I'm rolling sleigh, and then can I roll? Shreds the guitar on this, or absolutely. Okay, so that's plus. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh no, but I only got a five total. Oh no. oh no. Carol, you get up there. Twinkie, you have unleashed uh, your rainbow empathy, the thing that connects all of humanity. And you've used it for possibly the most pure thing it can be used for special effects. <laughs> It's you very important. It. And Carol, you get up there and you're about to slay and I need you to roll to, def I need you to give me a uh, resist roll. Okay. Uh, and you are going to be resisting uh, conformed to. Ooh. Okay. Oh gosh. Um... Trying to think if any of my tags would uh, would go to that, but well, you have cardio, lots of it. I do have cardio, lots of it. Um, I think I'll take that. And uh, what about recognizes strength? Like I, I I faced some bad crowds before on the road, and I uh, I know how to fight back against some ignorance who don't know how to like know how to rock out. I like it. All right, come this on. This is our first rodeo. No, no, my first rodeo. There was a lot of cleanup afterwards. All right. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's way better. That is a 10. All right. So on a 10 <laughs> plus... 8, eight plus 2, so... 8 plus 2, that's still a yeah. 10. Much better. Yeah, I just... Let me transparent my rules, yeah. <laughs> All right, how do you... 
you see this ignorance wave coming directly at you. You can tell it's going to put you in like some sort of box. We don't do boxes here. Do you flip out? How do you dodge it? Uh, I think what I do is I realize that my little soulful uh, alt country rock is not doing enough for these people. It need, they need a little more kick. And so I do a full on like, because they got my amp and I do a full on like slam down on the guitar <laughs> and it sends the energy wave out of my amp and ricochets the blade away. Like it sends, the it sends like a, the power of rock can save your soul. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, can Harvey do a move that kind of like um, goes off of what Carol is doing? Uh, sure. How how are you going to do that? So uh, Harvey recognizes that Carol is trying to do a country song, and knowing that um, some of these ignorance well, probably all are, country. Let's be fair. All country. All, all country. But still, there's still that country like that all country like uh, line to it. Um, He's going to try to start off with a alt country line dance that everyone can follow. All right, Ryan, I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll to slay. All right. Um, in rolling to slay, um, I'm going to go, you invoke natural sidekick. Um, I'm going to invoke learns by listening because <laughs> of music. Okay. Um, and, um, Desires peace for all because uh, that's what he's doing. He wants everyone to kind of do this country line dance. All right. I'm going to invoke your weakness tag of barely knows myself because uh, <laughs> how well do you know country, Harvey? Um, I know little Nas did something country. <laughs> yeah. Bar you barely know. Yeah. <laughs> He knows right. that one song, Jolene. Harvey, that's Harvey it. is Harvey's too young for Oil Can Harry. It's like it already closed before he got around to do it. So that's yeah. like, that's, a, that's the unfortunate thing. <laughs> All right, and rolling, and oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> um, two um, cheesecakes again. Oh so my God. Two sixes. I guess it really, it really matters if cheesecakes come out. All right, so that's a fourteen. So he doesn't like himself. cheesecake. It's perfect. He doesn't love cheesecake. I know. So I hear from some cheesecake. All right. So you are rolling to slay, and you got a fourteen. Um, you get to choose two upgrades from the slay list. Um, you can choose to kill it in a fight or argument. They can't counterattack. Uh, mm -hmm. You can do more power. So you're rolling with a. You're going to be giving a status of two. Mm -hmm. You can raise it to a three. Oh. Uh, yeah. You could do more coverage, which affects a small group. I'll let you know that right now, these ignorance bot 3000s are, you know, a group of one. So basically, it's a good idea. Uh, mm -hmm, you okay. can take something from them. Mm -hmm. You can keep them focused on you. Or you can make a comeback, which reduces a negative status by one. Um, I think more coverage to just make sure that they get handled. Like, okay. I want other people to be joining me and um, feeling like they can kind of party along with... Uh, Carol's music, so that's the idea. All right, and what else are you going to? What else are you going to pick? Because you get picked two from the list because you rolled double cheesecake. I'm gonna say more coverage and killing it. Okay, um, they can't counterattack. You don't have to worry about them giving you a status in return. Uh, Harvey, you don't know how to boot, scoot, and boogie, but you are giving it your all, and it's. Just Again, I really need to emphasize this is all country. Like, I don't know if y'all know what all country is, but it's not. I know what all country okay. is. <laughs> this is like rock and roll with country mix. It's, it's much more, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. You you shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. And, I mean, oh, like, yeah, that, no, that, that's yeah. actually pretty much just country. <laughs> like, that is, that is Johnny Cash. <laughs> in a post-9-11 country world, that is all country now. All right, fair mm. enough. Uh, mm. So, yes. I'll take uh, a dolly country if you're going to give me any country. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I love Jolene, dolly country. please don't take my man. Take me instead. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, speaking of little Nas. So, Harvey, you, even though Carol's music didn't reach them, your horrid dancing does. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all suck at dancing. We're all the same. <laughs> 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 it, you see a wave of Q energy just blow over these 
mind controlled robots and you see them snap out of it. They turn back into normal people and they look confused and dazed, except for the redheaded young man in the center who looks more perturbed than anything. Oh, okay. I was hoping this would be easier, but you had to go and do that. Join the funk. I will never join the funk. Oh, come on. He steps forward and his clothes flake off and soon he's wearing the outfit of one of the Justice Knights. The Justice Knights are the sworn enemy of House Queers. They want nothing more than to assimilate the world into one perfect unity that is not questioning, nor is it different. It is just the Borg, effectively. Uh, he is a short man about your height, Harvey. Uh, he's freckled, bespectacled, and uh, he looks like he means business. Around him appear crystalline butterflies who, they're, they don't look friendly, nor do they look pretty. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I think I might need some help. I can only do the funk for so long. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to roll to resist Harvey as he is going to send the butterflies after you. Okay. You are going I... to be resisting the status blinded too. Oh, okay. Um, I am going to um, invoke observance, seeing okay. that it's coming towards me. Um, fight like a hero. He's going to try to resist that and um, recognize ignorance because that's literally what it is. All right. Go ahead and roll the plus three. All right. Oh. Wow. Um, that is three plus three. I rolled a three. Oh, boy. Wow. My rolls are either amazing or bad. All right. Uh. Teddy, Carol, and Twinkie, you all see as a butterfly just flies directly onto Hardy's face, blinding him. Oh no, not my face! <laughs> oh no, I can't leave you dancing alone. I need to help you. <laughs> I'll lay down a beat for you. And I'll, no. I'll, I'll use the beat and I want to like swing down there to try to help him. I'm okay. going to play the Twinkie taste to give Twinkie a little, uh, little more energy. Go. Perfect. All right, all right. Uh, Nikki, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and uh, roll to care. Okay. Um, can I do use embrace your emotions? Mm, how do you think that's going to help here? I'm trying to like channel the music and everything to into what I'm doing. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. All right, and then um, maybe I can just use my, for the rest of it, um, dancer's reflex, because I'm swinging down there. I absolutely will love that as well. Okay, all right. Um, okay, I guess that. Uh, so that's five plus two. That's a seven. So on a seven to care, um, I will give you a tier one status. Uh, I'm going to say you're distracted one. Okay. So that's a negative status. Now, okay. sometimes you can spin it around and make it a positive thing. You know, like, oh, I was distracted one. I didn't notice the uh, giant uh, robots trying to smash me. But more than likely, I'm going to invoke it on a roll you will make later. Okay. All right. So you... So on a hit, which it is, seven is a hit, you remove a number of story tags or status tiers equal to your power. This was two, you were rolling with a two. So you get that butterfly off Harvey's face. Okay, great. I swipe it off in one of my dance moves. Yay, thank you. Now with that taken care of, can I focus on uh, the ringleader here, the red the redheaded guy? Absolutely. Um, now, my parental instincts are kicking in. I'm just seeing a sad kid. And I, I want to know where he's coming from. So I want to try to talk it out. 
All right, talk it out. I say, hey there, sport. We're all just trying to have a good time, especially that guy right there, <laughs> Harvey. He is trying his just so hard to make sure everybody is living their best life. And, you know, you can join us. You can, it's just a part, it's a party. So where's this coming from? What's wrong? This. Do you need a hug? I don't need a, he backs up. I don't need a hug. <laughs> but I am going to ask you to roll to talk it out first. Let's see how this conversation is going to go. So. Okay. I want to use. How are you going to use for this? Uh, compassionate. That's a good one. Uh, hold on. Parental instincts. Mm -mm. Also good. And I'm not sure. Can I use my Q factor lumberjack suspenders? Uh, like, sure, sure. So the Q factor is what's called your house move. Effectively, you all you all have a Q factor on your sheet. It's your item that turns into your Power Rangers outfit. Right. Probably good when you're dealing with some a Justice Knight. However, oh. I'm going to invoke your weakness of Big Softy. Okay, so that's a plus two to mm -hmm. nine. So 11. All right. Um, on an 11, uh, to talk it out, you can make progress, you can strike a deal, or you can bond. Why don't we make progress? All right. When you offer him the hug, he honestly looks like he kind of would really, really like that, but he's not going to admit that right now. He, you're dead. You know that. You know that look. Um, yep. He clears his throat uh, and tries to kind of stand a little taller. It's a teenager. He is just a kid. Listen, it's all right. Take I, your time. I I don't need to take my time. I know what I'm doing. You. You four, that one up there. I see you with the guitar. Hard to miss you. me. It's hard to miss. Ugh. Look, I understand. You've been misguided. This place is... Listen, this place fucks with people's head. Sorry, I'm not supposed to cuss. Uh... <clears throat> Look, I'm just here because I know what places like this do to people... And I'm here to stop it. I'm the good what guy the, here. I what, are the, you. what are these places do to people? Because I like being on top before I got here. He <laughs> blushes at that. It, it makes people confused. Do you feel confused? I Shut up! And he's going to send a bunch of butterflies at you. Uh, you are going to be dodging uh, swarmed three. Ooh. Roll okay. to resist. Sounds bad. All right. Well, um, I can. Well, I can use my. Uh... Can I? Do my protective Papa Bear pose. I think that's fair. For uh, Q Factor, Lumberjack, Suspenders, uh, the Big Bear, and Guardian. All right. So I'm just I'm gonna going take to invoke your weakness tag of small targets, though. You're not good small targets. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, five plus uh, two. That's a seven. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Five plus two is a seven. So uh, you will take a, you will take swarmed two instead of swarmed three. I did say three, right? Yes. Okay, good. So you are swarmed two. Uh, you bat off some of these butterflies as they come flying at you, but th there's a lot of them and they're bugs. And who likes bugs, honestly? Uh, Except for people who study bugs. I don't get those people. I don't study bugs. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of you can see, uh, the young man is booking it. 
leaving his small, significantly smaller, thanks to Harvey's line dancing, um, robots behind. Uh, Harvey starts running after the young man. All right. I want to join Harvey. I'm going to try to use my amp cord as like a lasso and throw it from the, to try to like. Yes. Try to like hog, hog tie him. I know, I, know, I know a thing or two about tying people up, so I just figure I'm going to <laughs> see what happens. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and have Riley go first. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, he has the static. He has the status of Swarm 2 around him. So you'll be rolling with a negative 2. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to try to invoke the power tag full of surprises, because I don't think anyone expects me to hogtie someone with an amp cord. No one saw um, this coming. <laughs> and uh, I'm also going to use my power tag of queer as punk, because this is pretty queer as punk. Um, but I could say recognize a strength. Which one do you think is more accurate to this situation? I think uh, queer as punk myself. All right, cool. All right, so I think that's basically negates the. So it's basically, a straight, zero. it's basically a straight roll, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty gay roll, but. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know such thing as a straight roll in this game. I don't have uh, Golden Girls dice, but I do have my go to, which were uh, sent to me by a fan of Game of Rassilon, and I use them all the time when I have these stasis. Oh, nice. I have those set too. It's great. What do I? Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them. They were, yeah, there was somebody, there was like a actual, like, I can't remember who made them, but I like them, I like them because on the D20, there's a little hurt on the 20. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. All right. Oh, I got an 11. I got a five and a six. Holy Whoa. crap. Oh, my Whoa. God. Heck yeah. Well, shoot. It's because old Carol knows how to slay. All right. <laughs> um, I wasn't slaying. I was, what was I doing? I was, uh. So you, I guess I was slaying. That seems, that seems like slaying. No, no, that was a slay. That was 100% a slay. Yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to say, though, because it was a power zero, I'm going to say it was a power one. Okay. So you can give him a power one status, or you can spend it on one of the available upgrades. Okay. Uh, so I get, I get a new tag option. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think I will do that, and I think, uh, I think I'm going to take... Mega microphone whip because that feels awesome. All right, all right. So, as the microphone wraps around him, avoiding these butterflies, uh, Ryan, Nikki, I'm going to ask both of you to be vulnerable as you run through the remaining robots who do not want you to get their master. Okay, okay. So um, I'll be vulnerable. Um, let's see. Um, sense of justice, because we want to make sure that everything is right. Um, I recognize ignorance, clearly. Um, but I could see with all of this stuff happening, I would be easily overwhelmed. Um, and, um, and I'm still, but I'm still observant. So there's a total of or net two yes also since this is the third time that mm -hmm. tag has been invoked you yep. get to claim a new power tag from Yay. that list Woo. Cool. after the roll though let's yes. see how this goes first oh, oh I, think I, I think i misunderstood what you said last time so i didn't get a power tag upgrade i had to upgrade my attack is that what it was oh yes you can upgrade the attack or give him the status oh, okay i misunderstood so okay oh i'm sorry no no I, that's my fault all right so let's see be vulnerable and let me see that is an eight on the roll plus two is ten ten it's going to work you are going to catch up to this hog tide uh justice knight <laughs> and also you get to claim a new power tag from your personality theme book yay um i'm gonna come up with clever solutions i'm gonna add clever that solutions time. is a good one Mm -hmm. All right, Nikki. Okay, um, since we're dodging through things, could I use M Marvelous Dodge and Dancer's Reflexes? I think that's totally fair. Okay. Um, trying to see if there's any others that would be probably back applicable, but 
those probably make the most sense for this. So I guess those two. And six and five, so 11. Holy crap. Woo! All right, you both uh, catch up to him with the greatest of ease as uh, Carol whips her microphone and ties him up. Poor, uh, poor Teddy, though, is still being swarmed by evil crystalline butterflies. Oh, oh no. Are these are these technically constructs? They are constructs. So, uh, can I use my double XL bear bash to get them off me? Sure, but I am going to invoke your weakness tag of small things, small okay. targets, all no, the small I'm, things. I, I see. I see. Teddy is kind of you know doing the whole Zangief thing where he's just spinning <laughs> around and <laughs> flying through the air. Uh, so I want to use double XL bear bash. Okay, and. The big bear and Muscle rainbow bear. and rainbow shield. More of an arrowhead fan myself. All right. And don't forget your small targets weakness. Second oh, time it's been invoked. Uh that was uh, seven total. All right. Um, and this was to slay on a seven. So you get to choose one upgrade from the list, and you will be giving a status of uh two, I believe. Uh, the, uh, butterflies are a two, aren't they? Can I remove that? Yes, you can. Um, so when something is maxed out on the status, it's removed from game. Generally, okay, unless otherwise listed, things have an HP value or a status value of five. But when I introduce something, it might have something of two or three. These guys only have, uh, two. So, smash! You smash the butterflies, and they are no longer a problem. However, uh, as you as you snap out of this butterfly hoot nanny, you see uh, the robots are heading right towards uh, Harvey and Twinkie. Uh -oh. I've got to help. Um, I'm going to. I want to get in between them and uh either take the hit or uh just you know counter it with a bear hug oh. yeah, bring i want i'm big enough i can bring them all in just get <laughs> in here buddy okay all right um so i'm going to say this would have been status uh tackled three for <clears throat> both uh twinkie and rv but since you're trying trying to take it it will be tackled three for you okay so give me a resist roll. Okay, uh, same as before. Uh, Lumberjack suspenders, Big Bear, and Guardian. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can add. Uh, can I add Rainbow Shield to that? I'll allow it. Okay. Okay, that was bad. Uh, that's a one and a two. So ah. that well, total a seven though, because it was four. Oh yeah, yeah. Lumberjack suspenders, Big Bear, Guardian, <laughs> Rainbow Shield. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I should be invoking some weakness tags here or uh, inflicting more. But yes, uh, you are going to take tackle to two as they come up and there is a bunch of robots on your back, Teddy. Uh, Carol, you have a bird's eye view and you can see that these robots are just dog piling on the bear. Um, I've been here before. It's fine. How? <laughs> uh, Twinkie, Harvey, you are. John Ellen is desperately trying to fling you off of him. He is, he is not the most physically adept, uh, but gosh, he's trying. <laughs> he's wary. Um, can I? I guess. And oh, sorry. I'm thinking maybe I would like to get a clue as to like what mo uh, what motivated him to like do it. Now is that is that something that I can do, or is it because he's part of the justice group that I already assumed that he doesn't have a motive other than he's part of that group? So here's the thing about 
this game in particular, that I've always really liked, everyone has a motive and everyone can get better. Mm-hmm. So he does have a reason for doing this. Okay. He's not just a dick. Right. Though he is currently being a huge jerk. Oh, yeah. Um, I just kind of figured, um, you're sending butterflies. That tells me something. So that's why I kind of want to try to get a clue out of him. All right. So um, with that, I'm going to say observant. Um, clever solutions. Okay. I'm... Um, Desires peace for all, and I believe in you. All right. I'm going to invoke two weakness tags for you. Uh, okay. Inexperienced fighter and easily overwhelmed. And he also has the a bit, he has uh, the status know-it-all three. So oh, okay. I'm going to give you a... Ne- so I'm basically removing five from your roll. Got it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. So, wow. That's a lot. So is that removing five or is that removing net negative two? You're at a net negative two. Got it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that seems that's, like, that's, that's, I was about to that's say. It's almost impossible to succeed on that roll. Otherwise. Is there any way I could help him? Because I'm there. That I could mm-hmm. How would you be able to help him while also holding him and not getting tackled by robots while in a bear okay. hug? All right. That's a little bit challenging. Um, so I rolled a five, which... Minus two is a three. All right. Uh, he looks at you, and there's something going on with this kid. And he just holds up a hand, and Harvey, you get a face full of ignorance blast ah. to the face. Uh, you now have the status confused, too, as suddenly everything is... Very bright and shiny and confusing. Ow! 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 And I don't is... know. Someone who weaponized talk to the hand feels pretty queer to me. But all right. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, now, Nikki, I need you to roll to resist as he's going to try to do the same to you. Okay. Um... Can I like? Uh, um, you said we all have an item to like turn into like our sensei outfits, though. For yeah, us. your uh, Q, uh, your Q factor. Okay, um, I'm looking for that on my sheet. I don't just not... Well, for Twinkie, your Q factor are the pinky heels. Oh, that's what that is. That's mm-hmm. okay. So can I? click my heels and turn into that and just do like a rainbow blast power backward to try to like offset the power. Absolutely. Go for it. Okay. Uh, he, you will be rolling with a net. Uh, he's could also I, invoking know it all again. So okay. it's a uh, minus three. So could I use rainbow blast Q factor and pink ray gun power? I'll allow it. All right. So that's a zero. Okay. Five. You also get a blast of confusion to the face. And suddenly you're like, oh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I should rewatch Lost. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I remember it. <laughs> no! <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That is some power right there. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> that you, know makes sense this time. you know you're lost and confused if you're like, maybe I should be watching Lost. It's pretty bad. Things are dire. Hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> what the fuck was with the polar bear? I never got an answer for that. <laughs> it's been 15 years. I'm still annoyed about the polar bear. I don't think they had a plan. Obviously like, not. When do I get to see the sailboat? Sorry. Different Obviously different they different. had no plan. Um, um, I want to help. Well, I want to help Teddy because Teddy's got that pile of robots on him, and I know, I know when Teddy likes his pile ups, this doesn't feel like one of those times. So, yeah. um, <laughs> no, um, I'm going to go ahead and invoke kind of a narrative thing real quick. Carol, you've seen it when you have a lot of stuff to carry in from uh, Teddy's van, and Teddy is like, "No, no, I got it, I got it." Got to get every single bag. In and one, one go, and yeah. it's like up to his armpits in grocery bags, and he's 
the legs are shaking a little bit and he kind of has <laughs> I got it I got walk. it yeah it's starting I'm, I'm, to look I'm like well that. versed in Teddy's toxic masculinity and I'm gonna try <laughs> real hard to deal my little little Carol uh little Carol medicine on this thing uh so I am a Carol I am a bells. I am a, some of that medicine. Mm, not this time of year. Um, I am a, I am a trained musician, and I have this little power tag of knows how it works. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little guitar and I'm going to activate my Q factor because my Q factor device is my flying V guitar. Since we're all getting into this, Carol's ready to rock. And so I'm going to use my flying V guitar and my rainbow blast and my knows how it works. And what I'm going to do is. I'm going to play a frequency that I was taught when I was a trained musician that will deactivate. Uh, well, they're robots, so <laughs> and I don't care for that kind of humor. Um, and I, <laughs> I make <laughs> sex jokes the entire show. All right, um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play a note that will disrupt the frequency of the robot, so they won't be able to get signals, and they'll just kind of like I basically want to shut them down. Error, see those robots. error, error. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to do those. So I, I gives me a plus three, but I'm going to take uh, my weakness of image conscious because I think Carol is still feeling a little bit of her ego bruise that her initial song didn't fix this right away. Because oh, yeah. normally, normally when I when I play uh, the, the hit song whose name I still remember, and it was definitely Good Kisses. Uh, normally I play Good Kisses, the, whole, the house comes down. So the fact that it didn't, Carol's not feeling great about <laughs> it. So. No, absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Do, are you are you are you invoking anything else on me? Um, no. Uh, I'm going to ask you to slay because that's what this sounds like. Okay. Uh, just letting you know, it's still a crowd of one. So. Okay. So what that means is basically, uh, if you were fighting one on one, this would be a full blast. You're kind of having to disperse the blast. Okay, then I'm actually going to take another. Way. I'm going to take another weakness for myself, oh. which is no volume control. Because I oh. think I think it might be a little bit hard. Because I think based on what you just said, that not being able to disperse the blast, uh, I think it's kind of like I can't really hone in on one particular target. I have to do like a big loud burst. So. Oh yeah, go for it. So okay, well, well, okay. I got. Uh, it was a nine. Plus, it'd be nine plus one, so I get a ten. That's because like, well, I would have had plus three, but I took the two weaknesses, so it's ten. It's a ten. Ten's a roll. Ten still good. I know I'm really good at it. Yeah. Teddy's, <laughs> Teddy's under the Teddy's really under the pile. Guys. <laughs> Teddy's under the pile, going, "Hey, I love this song." Uh, so yes. yeah, so Carol's Sentai outfit comes on, and it's just a blue flannel that appears over her like regular Sentai outfit. <laughs> A pair of like blue. Oh, that's like, amazing. They're, like, they're like, there's like, she's got that, and she's got like a pair of docks and like a pair of like torn Sentai jeans. Like it's it's the suit like like a Sentai would have, but there's torn jeans on it. It's pretty All cool. right. So if I'm if I'm not mistaken, this is going to you're attacking with a power of two. I believe so. All right. I attack. Okay, so I attacked with, I attacked with. Okay, so I had the the Q factor of my flying mm -hmm. guitar, flying V guitar. I also had knows how it works and rainbow blast, but then you gave me two weaknesses. So I guess only power of one. Okay. Unless I'm misunderstanding that, but no, nope, no, nope, that that's how it works. Okay. So, power of one. Uh, what are you going to give him? Um, I was trying to deactivate. I was trying to like stun the robots essentially. Just so okay. how how does that work mechanically? So basically, um. You get to choose two upgrades from the list. You would choose more coverage, so it would affect all of them. And then you could pop, and then you could choose more power, so it could be a status two. Oh, I don't think I have the list you're talking about. Because remember, oh. the, Carol, the Carol sheet isn't finished, so it only has some of the stuff. Right. In the starter box, however, if you download it right now for free, uh, try through RPG or on cityofest.co. Sorry, got to get my plugs in. Oh yeah, I had oh. I had it printed out last time I played, so I don't have it. I don't have a copy of it. Sorry. Right. Uh, there is a list of upgrades under Slay. Oh. Okay. And they are killing it. More power coverage. Take something. Keep them focused. Make a comeback. So. Is there something like? What's the reverse of keep them focused? Like. Um. Really, that would just be giving up. That'd just be more power. You're just making the status better. And more coverage hits all of them. So they're not going to be, they're going to, 
We'll give them the status deactivated too. Okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Is there? Can you send me? Is it? Is it? Is it possible you send me something so I can I can read those while we're playing? Because I, I don't have absolutely. Them right um, That's probably I'll why I confused it. earlier about the power tag. It is okay. I will send you cool. this over no email real quick. Because Thank you. We are Sorry. At computers, and that is how computers work. Cool. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. That is that. I realized that I was missing information. So it is okay. So uh, that is actually enough to make all of these ignorance robots revert back into people, and they just kind of slough off of Teddy. Um, Teddy like comes out of the couple, pile. Maybe a couple don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving. He's, he's still giving one guy a piggyback ride, but he's. He's. I think I uh, already used the. I used the suspenders before, so he's already in his Sentai outfit. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's gotten a little Captain Kirk. Uh, you know, like it. <laughs> a tasteful well, rip showing. Yeah, some like yeah, and, and you know, so, showing some chest hair. Uh, you know, and then just kind of a, oh, as he comes out of the pile. I'm okay. Ryan, how hard are you? How hard is Harvey staring? Um, <laughs> oh, I'm glad you added staring because I thought there was something a whole other question you were. <laughs> I also was like, a family whoa, show. Whoa. <laughs> we I mean, PG thirteen here. Come on. Oh, but, but we have not been for at least an hour and a half. Are you kidding me? Just censored bar. I will say that for a while, Harvey was you know confused because of a little disoriented because um things are happening, and then he sees Doctor Wolf like stand up with Whoa. his you know really really um strong uh stature and just like that slightly suggestive rip and goes oh and now he's focused <laughs> so yes you have taken care of the legions of robots from this justice night and uh <clears throat> they the robots are all people again and they all look dazed and confused and kind of embarrassed like the, what am i doing here why am i doing this what did i say oh god don't worry about it look there's a club where you can go and party and drink and there's going to be a live performance get in line <laughs> one of the former robots uh a woman of about 25 or so kind of just puts her hair back in a ponytail yeah a drink sounds good. I, I need a drink. I need a drink. Um, she looks to you, Twinkie. Listen, I don't know what exactly happened. I don't know why that happened. I'm super fucking embarrassed. But um, she reaches into her pants pocket and she pulls out a ticket for Lucky Land, the local theme park. I was here and now I'm here. And I don't really remember anything in between. Well, you were attacked by, by, and your mind was taken over by ignorance. So we, we can help you out if you if you want to come in, have a drink, and relax. That sounds good. That sounds very good. She wanders into the bar and gets herself uh, scotch on the rocks. Good plan. <laughs> yeah. uh, um. Harvey, like, uh, like as soon as he like just starts gathering people and just kind of like moving yeah. them in that general direction. Um, once that's done, he kind of goes in and goes, uh, "Mama, Mama J, uh, be ready for the crowds coming in. We finally got that settled, and they're coming in now. So uh, hopefully everything is ready. Are you and absolutely fabulous? Okay. Uh, you see, absolutely fabulous at the bar. She's She's wearing a sheer robe over this flouncy little number, like her husband just died and she inherited everything and she's <laughs> really messed up about it, I swear. Under, under mysterious circumstances. Under mysteri mm. the most mysterious circumstances. Oh, yeah. uh, and even though it's a wick, her hair isn't curlers, but like not that curlers that are actually gonna curl. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and Mama J is next to her and they both have glasses of uh, red wine and. They give you a little cheer. <laughs> yeah, it's all going to work out. <laughs> uh, did you... Uh, Mama puts down her glass. Uh, did you... Where's the Justice Knight? Uh, oh. 
he's still um outside. Oh. But he's not but he's at least not in here. Well that that's good. That's good. But Harvey and she's going to try to actually give you a status of uh heroic two. Mm-hmm. As she puts a hand on your shoulder. You can roll to resist it if you'd like, but I'm not gonna resist it. Yeah. It's good that you stopped him, but as a member of House Queers, it's not enough to just stop them. You have to save them. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I will go outside and try to look for him. I, I can, okay. Um, um, I, Mama, I have a question, and maybe yes. you just know this better than I do. Okay, so what if you get the impression that maybe they want to come out? Or I don't know if they are, but there are some signs that tell me that maybe they might be one of us, but they're really, really afraid, and they kind of lash out, and all the ignorance comes as a result of them trying not to be that way. So how do you deal with that? Because I have, I have no idea, and I need help. You never force anyone to do anything. But sometimes someone, sometimes it's okay to hit someone upside the head. Got it. <laughs> make, sure you get, make sure you get a safe word before you start doing that kind of activity. Carol. Well, it's, it's responsible. I'm just saying me and my girlfriend have a safe word and things have never had a problem. Um, uh, from the stage, I, uh, I'm sorry, I do have your girlfriend's name. Aya Takei looks up from her drum set and Carol, if she could shoot daggers from her eyes, mm -hmm. you would be stabbed to death. <laughs> um, Carol, what's a safe word? Uh, don't worry about a kid. Uh, With a name like Takei, the, is, is it oh my? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my got it okay and he starts running off <laughs> well, I was, uh, hey kid for now, was, for now I'll just start with no and work for, yeah. <laughs> i mean i i don't i don't think i would have gone inside yet i think i would have still been looking for the the justice night and or making sure people are getting inside safely and such so all right uh Teddy still has a tasteful rib across his shirt. Uh, Twinkie, you were told more or less where these robots came from. Uh, and the Justice Knight is nowhere to be seen. Hmm. It seems like he's gone. Um, should we go investigate here, Kyle? I mean, Kyle. <gasps> uh, Teddy? <laughs> uh, seems like a good idea. Why don't we all pile into my minivan? All right, I'll get the others. And I'm going to come in and guide guys... I, we have this ticket. He must have gone back here. What's the ticket for? I'll show you the ticket. It's the it's a amusement park of some kind. <gasps> Lucky Land? That is so hard to get into. How do they have a ticket of this? Really? I've never been. Oh my goodness. Like I've always uh, wanted to take Marie there. Yeah, like I've been there once and uh it was like a four hour wait just to get in but you know the lucky land but you get to wear the lucky land uh um goat ears right you get what? to get pictures with the princesses what? and like it's kind of it's kind of amazing the oh my god princesses? i went the there on anomaly day and uh it's not like an official day but like people go for anomalies and we like wear like blue shirts that day it's pretty cool okay mm. let's go we should go why goats <laughs> because i didn't want to say mice i didn't want to say mouse ears <laughs> well, all right. I'm just gonna take a sharpie to the rest of the adventure because they're supposed to be cats, but now they're goats. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh boy! You know what? You know why there's goat goat ears? Because whenever goat? we go somewhere, we're the greatest of all time. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> all right. You but that, I mean, of course, Big Bad Wolf. Wherever we go, we just bring the house down. We are VIPs. And I'm the Big Bad Wolf. I regret everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> I regret my career choices. <laughs> oh, no. 
you guys. This, this game's gonna end with Stephen becoming one of the ignorants. Just... <laughs> <laughs> like, no I more know. puns. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we if need Riley to drops that one more innuendo. I will swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> PG thirteen. PG thirteen. <laughs> So hey, I I'm not the one dropping the f bomb over and over again. So let's not. <laughs> I mean, like, How fucking dare you? <laughs> I was trying to teach about responsible communication between partners, engaging, and then safety in the bedroom. Sexy. Yes. Well, as we stated, Lucky Land is the incredibly popular local theme park. It's very hard to get into. Very exclusive. Uh, the beloved mascot Clover the Goat. Uh, meets you <laughs> at the front, handing out balloons and looking adorable. Uh, is, Clo is Clover from the a classic fainting cartoon. goat? Hmm? Is Clover a fainting goat? Um, they tried that for a minute during the like mid 2010s, and it was funny, but then a bunch of teenagers started abusing it, so they started getting worried about the person in the Clover costume, so they stopped that. Yeah, I remember that classic I cartoon like steamboat the cat kitten? ears and everything. Oh. <laughs> they were supposed to be cats, I promise you. <laughs> I need a pair of cat ears. I'm like failing my entire identity by not having cat ears. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh but Clover the goat, the goat mascot, uh one eye, but very perky. That's kind of their whole gimmick. Uh it's a spoke and wheel sort of theme park divided into goat ears. Uh, the shopping area, kind of a little mall area. It was called Kitty Hears, but uh, we had to change it to Goats. Uh, there's a water park called Rivet Rapids. There's a child-friendly western area called uh, Clover Goat Corral. Once again, it made sense when they were cats. And finally, the Clover Crash Zone, which is... I'm not going to say it's uh, Galaxy's Edge, but it's kind of their Galaxy's Edge. Um, and when you arrive, you notice it is, well, Anomaly Day, as uh, Carol put it. An unofficial day that the park does where they have rainbow everything. Everything is definitely designed. You see... Uh, you see not only rainbow, but you see kind of a pink, orange, purple uh, cupcake next to a blue, green, rainbow cupcake. Uh, it looks like they're trying to acknowledge as many identities as they can on this day. You even see what you even see a purple and gray one, uh, like purple and gray cat uh, goat ears. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here, and it's very nice. Are there, like, snacks that are, like, tin can themed that, like, they're really edible and you can eat them, but it's like a... Um, I'm going to say all the popcorn comes in giant plastic tin cans. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you can buy the tin pee. can on a stick, which is a dipped marshmallow with a graham cracker sticking out to make it look like a can. That's true. Really, that's <laughs> And of course, Clovis's boyfriend is Billy the Goat. It's like Minnie oh, and Mickey, but it's Clovis and Clovis mm -hmm. and Billy. Yeah, I'm building an entirely new theme park here. <laughs> oh my god! Um, Let's go to next day land. <laughs> As so, yeah, you arrive and it's pleasant. It's nice. It's very welcoming. You can tell they're trying to embrace pride as much as they can in a capitalistic hellscape. Um, I want tumblers. They have tumblers for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Key rings. They tried. Uh, and standing atop uh, the Clover Cruiser, the centerpiece of the park, this wooden roller coaster that looms over everything, that casts a wide shadow, you see uh, the Justice Knight. And he looks down at the four of you, and he is pissed. Hey! Also wave. Hi up there! <laughs> you have passes too? Oh my gosh. How'd you get up there? You must really like it here. 
this used to be where I felt normal. Then everything got different and it's different. And I need all of you to roll to resist as he shoots a uh ignorant star that is about 10 feet wide at the four of you. Ooh, uh, okay. I, I want to try to take that hit for as many people as possible if I can. Uh, can I only do that for one person? I will allow you to take it for everyone, but if you fail, this is going to raise it to a status five, which oh. will remove you from consciousness. Oh well, I'm going to try it. Oh, no. Go big or go home. That's my no. motto. No! <laughs> uh, I want to use uh, Q-Factor Lumberjack Suspenders, okay. uh, the Big Bear, Guardian, and uh, Rainbow Shield. Can I assist in any way? Um, this was a resist roll, and you did not have time to really set that up, so I'm going to say no. Okay. And I'm also going to invoke the weakness tag, can't protect everyone. Fair. Okay, so that's a seven plus three, then. So ten. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. oh my God. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Behind him appears a crystalline star of ignorance. It's glass-like and sharp, oh. and it's designed to build walls between people. And with one hand, he flings it down, and it is flying towards the four of you. You rolled a ten. How the hell do you stop this thing? Teddy, like, jumps into the air at it and does a, uh, you know, one of those uh, Muay Thai-style uh, elbow drops on top of it and simultaneously <laughs> pulling off a pose <laughs> <laughs> in midair, just rainbows and golden energy all around. I'm just going to start clapping. <laughs> oh, no, it is definitely and, clapping. And, and he holds it. Yep. As you should. For the applause. Woo, Teddy! Um, as that soon as it is, as soon as it is safe, um, <laughs> he gets um, out of under um, Teddy's shield and starts running towards um, the redhead, remembering right. what Mama J said. Sometimes you need to slap somebody. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe he's uh, the Justice Knight is standing atop a roller coaster. Now, the roller coaster is what we refer to as a danger now everything in this game that can hurt you is a danger obviously but mm -hmm. this is going to be a scene danger and it's on a countdown so basically whenever you roll if you roll under a 10 i'm probably going to take the soft move of clicking that thing up once it hits three you have to roll to not get hit by a roller coaster okay um so i think harvey um just trying to be as um direct as possible um attempts to go towards um, the redhead, um, the Justice Knight, um, regardless of the danger. Um, I am going to invoke the tags, um, fight like a hero, um, um, sense of justice, um, and recognize ignorance. But I also will take um, the weakness in experienced fighter because this should be, this should be difficult for him. Go ahead and roll to be vulnerable as you run up this as you run up this hill to make a deal with God. All right. That's a Kate Bush reference, and that's just for Steven. <laughs> no, I, I'm not in an appreciation, but I was trying to interrupt again. <laughs> um, let me see. And I get um I have a net of two, I believe. So that is an eight. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the soft move. I'm going to tick it up from zero to one. Okay. All right. So you are at the top of this roller coaster. Uh, and he is glaring daggers at you. He is furious. He is. Why won't you just let me help people like you? I used to be like you. I get it. You're confused. Wait, you used to be like, what happened? So what, so what did you do? Uh, <sighs> Maybe you were confused by a bad teacher when you were young, but I am going to fix you and you are going to learn. And he's going to uh, take a swing at you. I need a roll to resist getting punched one. Okay. Um, 
I will. Let's see. I will um, sense energy, sense that he is going to punch me. I am observant to know that he is winding up for a punch. Um, and, um, and he's going to recognize that this is all motivated by ignorance. So I'm going to have those three. Okay, go ahead and roll to resist. Okay, resisting. Um, three, two, so that is a total of nine. Okay, um, as he punches, and you can tell, he, it's like a noodle, it's a noodle arm. He takes mm -hmm. a swing, and, uh, oh, Quest and Chaos, thanks for the raid. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for the raid. It, but it is powered by ignorance, and you see that <laughs> glass form around him. He takes a swing. Uh, you are going to take, uh, you're going to take Shocked One. Shocked One, okay. Mm-hmm, because, uh. This kid doesn't look like he normally fights. What are the rest of you going to do? I want to like shout like, "You're the one who's confused. We can help you." <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to say that's actually going to be a strike oppose because you're going strike to try pose. to. Okay. Um, yeah, you're basically trying to boost everyone else up for this fight. Could I use uh, radical acceptance? Absolutely. Embrace your emotions. That's exactly what you're trying to ha make happen. Um, and um, uh, let's see. I guess I'll I'll actually invoke my weakness, internal drama, for my own for my my own self. Or There's self a lot happen. of drama and conflama going on. That'll be the second time I've invoked that. So cool. All right. Oh God, no! I rolled a three. So no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. So I'm going to make the hard move, and I'm going to say the roller coaster is going to max out. Uh, Ryan, I need you to roll to resist. Okay. Oh boy. oh boy. Oh boy, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so um, I'm, okay, so I'm going to say um, rolling. Okay, rolling to resist. Um, I'm going to say um, uh. Oh shoot! Um, clever solution. That's clever a new solution. Way. I will absolutely allow. Um, observant. Um, learns by listening. I'm listening, and I hear that that's something that this is about to happen. Yes. Um, it's the only ones that can apply. So we're gonna. I'm going to invoke your weakness tag of easily overwhelmed. All right. <laughs> yep, it's overwhelming. All right. So that is net. Two, I believe. Yep, you're rolling with a plus two. All right, here we go. That is a seven total. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, you are going to take bonked two. Bonked too. Okay. Yes. As you, Harvey, you're the newest member of House Queers. You're new to being a ranger trying to save humanity from ignorance and the things that rip us apart. And one thing you have yet to really master is the art of posing, flipping, ducking, and dodging. Yep. So you're trying. It's art. So bonk. <laughs> You are, so you have bonked two. Is he still on the, the track? Yes, he, he is still okay. on the track, but that definitely hurt. Mm -hmm. I want to say Teddy's like at the bottom, like kind of huh, ready to catch him. Like, <laughs> oh God, that is so dangerous. Uh, Carol, what are you doing? Um, I was trying to figure that out because everyone's just running up a roller coaster. I don't know if that's Carol's style. Uh, but I think Carol is, I think Carol is actually trying to go to the like control mechanism of the roller coaster and try to get the, the teenager who's running it to turn off the roller coaster so that the cars don't come and hit my friends. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a talk it out. Uh, you won't have to do that as you realize as soon as a giant ignorance star was thrown, the kid bolted. Okay. Yeah. So um, it is okay. unmanned. 
Okay, so then I guess I would probably do uh, get a clue to try to figure out how to turn off the roller coaster sure. so that it doesn't hit my friend. Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to do, um, so yeah, I'm going to get a clue and let me see what kind of tags I can add to that. Uh, I think I can do uh, knows how it works as a I tag. I think that's a good one for this. Um, but I'm going to give myself the image conscious one. I think this is really funny. I think that I'm like hoping no one realizes that I'm playing on the soundtrack for the ride. Like that I did like a studio, <laughs> a studio musician session. So like, it's like, cause you know, how like space, like, like a certain ride that won't be named, but it's like a, a, a mountain in space. Uh, <laughs> like Michael Giacchino did like a cool, like guitar riff thing yep. for that ride. So I think it's like that. I think I'm, I think I do the, I think I did the, uh, <laughs> I think I did the music for it. I'm hoping don't, none of my friends notice it. I thought you were going to reveal that Carol, as a child, was like voicing uh, Clover the Goat for like TV specials or something. Kind well, of like Clover therapy. is Clover is definitely the safe word that I uh, and Carol use, but I think that uh, <laughs> that's dangerous. good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> well, thank you for playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, have killed, I have killed the GM. Good night, everybody. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use. Um, uh, knows how it works. I'm gonna take the weakness of image conscious, but I think I should be able to take the 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 um, the bonus of loyal bandmates. Even though he's not a even though he's not a bandmate, he's in my crew. He's, he's in my house. As far as you're so, concerned, yeah. Yeah. So cool. So I have plus two, minus one. Um, so you're rolling with plus one. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Teddy. I'm sorry, Harvey, uh, because I only got a five. I got a one of three plus my one. So, so uh, all right. But it does give me my three for my weakness. So it does. Yeah, it does. Um, all right. So you, so you, Carol, you're going to take the status overwhelmed two as you okay. look at this thing and realize, oh. I know how to take a piano apart and put it back together. I don't know how to elect. I don't know how to control this machine. Yeah, I can't even turn it off. There's not even like a red button that turns it <laughs> off. <laughs> and you're suddenly really pissed off because you know the type of people who run these things, and it's like it's a fourteen. It's it's like a bored sixteen year old with like bad skin. This should not. Be I'm sure difficult. it was a very complicated tech process. I have been there when the rides break down. There's like a guy with keys that comes up. There's a whole thing that happens. <laughs> I know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna throw it back over to Teddy, Doctor Woof. What are you doing? Uh, can I like? Am I physically able enough to stop the roller coaster? You know what? I haven't had. I've ran this game about four times. No one's tried that before. I'm absolutely going to let you do that. <laughs> I'm going to say it has a. It has the status running roller coaster three. So. <laughs> yep. N minus okay. three. <laughs> well, um, uh, I will treat this as taking a hit. So, uh, guardian, protect those I love. Yeah, parental in, parental in, parental instincts because that's fair. what's driving this, and uh, can I just throw on my double XL bear bash for flavor? <laughs> it sounds like you're going to do yeah. that. Okay, I don't know if anyone, if everyone else has played Final Fantasy. I want to say six, where the guy suplexes a train at one point. Yeah, but, uh, that 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 sounds like what's happening here. Uh, That's basically what's going to happen here. I love it. I'm yeah. definitely here for this. Depending yeah, on the role, I I might get just. You know, roller coastered, but we'll okay. See. So it you are using four tags. Uh, it has a status three, which I'm going to invoke. So you are rolling with a one. All right. I have not seen this happen before, so I'm very fascinated. That is a six plus one is seven. <sighs> it does feel right that there will be a complication towards <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> your face. <laughs> like okay, a body. Yeah. I, I, I get on the tracks but and I'm like, oh, accurate. I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. It was going to be a bad decision. I need some Advil later at least. Oh, yeah. no. Um, uh, okay. This... Not in my back. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is a slay move. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't think it's slay. This sounds more like be vulnerable because you're doing something very silly. Yes. Yep. That's true. <laughs> so, um... 
Teddy, you see the car. It is coming. You see Carol, and she is looking at this thing like... <laughs> you see Twinkie like, oh, no, I made it worse. Um, <laughs> oh, someone in chat just asked, are there passengers in the roller coaster? <laughs> I'm going to say no. no. I'm going to say no because Power Rangers rules, okay? okay. Power Ranger rules. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, Teddy, you just get up on that track and you grab it and it's going to push you and you manage to pull out that superhuman strength you didn't know you have and you pull it up i'm going to give you <laughs> my back too <laughs> oh i can handle it i'm good <laughs> just gonna fall backwards <laughs> you fall backwards and the train is off the track you know it's no longer a concern i can't i'm just going to allow it to happen because that's hmm. too amusing not to happen i love it so much <laughs> <laughs> don't forget harvey does have a first aid kit I'm a uh, doctor. Twinkie has a first aid. Yeah, who, who doctors the doctor? The doctor is her. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey does. Yes. Right, He's yeah. my little buddy. That's yeah, I can rush story. forward and be like, and be like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm going to throw this over to Twinkie as uh, Harvey is still kind of in battle. Twinkie, I'm going to give you kind of a hard choice here. You can either help uh, your injured friend who definitely is going to have a hernia, at the very least. <laughs> oh my God. There's, there's, there's some internal injuries there for sure. Or you can go help Harvey. Oh, oh no, it's a Spider-Man moment. Well. It's oh, Spider-Man, no. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, oh boy, I don't know what to do. I'm gripped with indecision. <laughs> I'm fine. going to help Harvey. <laughs> All right. So, I look between the boat and I rush on. <laughs> Just Terminator moment. Yeah. You definitely do the, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> oh, God, this hurts. You're like, oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> uh, Twinkie, you run up that track and you see Harvey fighting the Justice Knight. Um, what are you going to do? I'm going to be like, like, I know you don't believe it. Like, I know you don't believe us, but we can help you and try one more time to like convince them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say this is another strike a pose. Yeah. So I'll, I'll do the embrace your emotions again. And can I, uh, can I help her? Can I help them? Um, can I, I will let, okay. I will let Riley set up a strike a pose that give Nikki a boost. However, Riley, I am going to invoke the tag I gave you earlier of Overwhelmed 2. Okay. I just wanted to give them the benefit of the help. Um, I I want to, like, since I'm, I'm at the console for the ride, mm -hmm. I want to, like, play some, like, start singing over the, I want to sing the... the with, with the backing track? I want to sing the Twinkie, the, yeah, I want to sing <laughs> the, the Twinkie Taste over the speaker to okay. give Twinkie some music to do this move to. Can I can I actually then say if if that's happening, um, can I channel it into like like a power blast then? To kind of... I will one hundred percent let you do that. Okay. But we shall see what okay. Riley does first. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna roll. So then my uh, I'm already taking the two because of the overwhelm. So uh, I'm gonna try loyal bandmates mm -hmm. and a born lyricist. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to invoke your weakness tag, however, of image conscious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fair. Uh, okay. So it's a plus one on my roll. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. And I believe that's the third time that's been invoked. So go ahead and give yourself a new power tag. No, that uh, was the, that I heard that I actually rolled it the third time last time. I took it when I said, oh. I, I took it as a weakness when I said that I was the recording on the Oh, that's right. That's fair. Ride. That's fair. So, so you I, should definitely have a new power tag. Yeah. I'll take, uh, I'll take, uh, I'll take. Uh, trained in all instruments for that. So all right, cool. Uh, but I roll double sixes plus ones. So I have a Holy thirteen. Crap. Yeah, on Woo! my roll to help to help Twinkie. So Twinkie, whatever that does for you, have okay. at it, my friend. All right. So you were okay. So Riley, that was definitely strike a pose. So what status are you going to give uh, Twinkie? And it's minimum two right now. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to give Twinkie the benefit, the upgrade of. So if I, okay, so one of the upgrade is make the effect flashier. It says keeping the focus on you, but would I be able to make it, keep the focus on Twinkie? Like uh, make, 
make the effect flashier for Twinkie. I'll allow it. Pirate okay. Technic. Yeah, so that's what I that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give I'm giving Twinkie the the power of, I guess it could be yeah yeah I think I'm gonna give Twinkie the make the effect flashier. So whatever Twinkie's doing, that is awesome. Okay, so uh, what are you gonna call the status? Just yeah, uh, I wanna... Twinkie boost. Twinkie boost. <laughs> it's the Twinkie. Tw it's this is the whole Twinkie meal at this point instead of the Twinkie <laughs> face. <laughs> so Twinkie meal two. <laughs> There's rainbow colors, Twinkie, smoke, Twinkie tea? smoke explosions <laughs> going off in the background. It's the enchanted Twinkie room. Mm, the the Twinkie, 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 Twinkie room. room. <laughs> Twinkie, 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 Twinkie room. room. <laughs> okay, <laughs> any more we will get sued. So please don't. Do oh yeah, that's that's why it, it was a parody. It was a parody. All right. So Nikki, uh, you're gonna roll to slay. Okay. And you get a plus two immediately from uh, the Twinkie room. Okay. Uh, so and I also want to do make it a rainbow blast. Absolutely. And I want to do, again, the radical acceptance and embrace your emotions. And then finally, can I make it also add the pink ray gun power on top of that? Or Why not? Yeah. So I right. rolled a sleigh with a five. <laughs> oh, my God. I rolled three on the dice, though. But that's plus <laughs> three plus what? Five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just shocked you rolled that bad. I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, eight, right. though. So, uh, seven to eight. Choose one from the list. Uh, you can kill it. You can do more power. You can do more coverage. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, it was a power five hit, which is more than enough. Okay. <laughs> So the list is um the list is kill it. Kill it. Make it so they can't counterattack. Okay. Uh you can make it, it more powerful. More power, which you said is okay. Completely unnecessary um, at this point. Uh you can give them more coverage. I'll just uh, do killing it. All right. So six. Um Harvey, you're new. Twinkie yes. has been at this. Twinkie's not that much older than you, but Twinkie's been at this for a long time. Twinkie can't help but be themselves. <laughs> Twinkie wakes up every day and chooses themselves over anything else. And that self-love is something you can tap into. You've seen yourself do it, and you know Teddy can do it, and you know Carol can do it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fabulous. Mama J. Rambo, they can all do it. But it never stops being really fucking cool. Twinkie, you get out the ray gun. It's it's a toy. It's cute. And you it's like one of those like like Captain Proton type of like sci-fi ray gun. Absolutely. <laughs> and Twinkie does something that only members of House Queers can do. Twinkie enters the inner space and brings you all with them. Now the inner space is more or less the private sanctum within everyone. It is the truest form. And that place can be corrupted. That place can be harmed by trauma, by years of bad teaching. But this is where if something went wrong, if someone hates themselves and hates the world, this is the place where that happened. So we enter a new scene. We are at St. Sebastian Academy, possibly about 10 years ago. Uh, and it is not exactly a friendly place. Large stone structures tower overhead, glaring down at you. Um, students have a uniform haircut and a uniform uniform. <laughs> And you see a young boy with thick glasses and a mop of red hair holding a pink Super Ranger doll. And he is being mocked relentlessly by several bullies. Now, when you enter the inner space, you take on whatever the inner space requires. So congratulations, you're all seven-year-olds. <laughs> You, 
I still have the the pot belly though. I'm oh, I'm you have really, a pot belly. Really, I'm a really seven year old. Seven year old. I'm like I'm like this. I'm like five feet tall as a seven year old. But your back might feel a little better at this point. Uh, yeah, I, I I feel like a kid again. I'm good. <laughs> what do you do? Um, can I? Uh, put my, I want to put my hands on uh, Harvey's shoulders and say, go talk to him. Let him know that it's okay. Okay. And he goes over and says, oh, you got the pink one. Uh, I've always wanted the pink one. That is so cool. And just like keeps going on like just how cool it is that they um have that um have that uh figure all right go uh before you roll anything kyle uh because you gave him a little pep talk go ahead and roll to strike a pose okay um tags are uh where's the uh parental instincts uh, Mr. Fix It. Mm, I'll allow it. And uh, compassionate. Also good. All right. That's a nine plus. Uh, well, do mm, do these count as small targets? They do not. Okay. <laughs> that's a nine plus three is twelve. Okay. Uh, so no. you can give a positive status to uh, Harvey. Um, inspired. Inspired three is a good one. Or no, nice. uh, dad talk. Dad talk. There you go. <laughs> dad, 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 dad talk three. Dad, daddy talk. Daddy talk. <laughs> Although I'm seven, so maybe just dad talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> What a, what a like irony that you're finally both the same age, but it's seven. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you might look, you might both look like seven year olds, but uh, that's that's still a uh, middle aged doctor with a child. <laughs> yeah. So Harvey has a status three dad talk mm -hmm. for him, and I'm going to ask you to slay. Okay, so I'm going to slay with um dad talk like just kind of fawning over um the toy that they have mm -hmm. i'm going to invoke uh the justice knights the young justice knights uh status self-loathing too oh okay buddy mm -hmm. all right so self-loathing too um i'm empowered by the daddy talk yes um i will um I will approach this with um, childlike wonder. I think that's appropriate. Um, I childlike wonder, um, observant, seeing like what is happening. Um, I will say also, um, natural sidekick because I'm trying to just encourage this guy, and um, and ultimately he desires pieces. P desires peace for all like he wants everyone to get along all right so that makes it um so that makes it a net five uh net five is that including the negative two from self loathing yes um because yeah. um daddy talk is plus three okay yeah all the five this is gonna be a big one it's gonna be a big one and it is um so i rolled an eight so eight yeah. plus five is 13. All right. Um, he looks at you and he's, you still hear the mocking from the other students at this school. They're calling him a bunch of words I'm not going to repeat. It is definitely uh, one of those moments that these kids aren't going to remember it. He's mm -hmm. going to remember this for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And your little pep talk, your little just being nice to him, mm -hmm. that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. 
you feel yourselves removed from inner space. And the four of you, now adults again, mm -hmm. find yourself in front of Lucky Land. Mm. He is no longer dressed as a Justice Knight, but he is dressed as a teenager who works part-time at a theme park. Mm. He introduces himself as John Elton, and he apologizes profusely. He has no way to justify anything he said or did, and he knows how much of a burden he was today, and he is so sorry. Mm -hmm. Carol walks up to him and just gives him a hug. Yeah. Oh, and doesn't doesn't make, doesn't make him feel like he has to apologize. Joining in, hugging both of them. Yeah, yeah. I'll join in. Hug, bring bring, hug. bring in everybody. Group mm -hmm. hug. <laughs> picking up the picking up the entire group before remembering my back hurts and going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. uh, and Harvey is still pretty injured, so it's like oh 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 ow ow, but he kind of uses this uh, injury to kind of like go towards John. Um, and kind of like go towards him and not collapse into him, but sort of like leans on him to just try to um, get help from him and kind of seeing what he's going to do at this point. Cause he's not completely sure he's new to this, but if he wants to help, I want to see what he does. Uh, he is more than willing to be your support right now. Aww. And that's when your cell phone goes off Twinkie. Ding. It's okay. Willie. Uh, hi, listen, I'm currently hiding, uh, with, uh, uh, sorry, what's your name? What's your name? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm hiding with Aya right now behind a speaker. Uh, absolutely fabulous is wondering where her opening act is. Um, I'm not saying it's a scene from The Conjuring, but I'm pretty sure I saw her head rotate. Um, things are bad. Please go. Oh, crap. Go out of the club right now. We gotta go, guys. Uh, my girlfriend's in danger. I, I just, I just need to run. To, I just need to run to the gift shop real quick, or hobble, hobble to the gift shop real quick. <laughs> take three Party hours. We're going. Fine, let's go. Buy it right. online. It's cheaper. No, I gotta um, get it now. Um, I support I, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I stay behind, kind of hold, uh, uh, kind of like just lean in, um, uh, with John Elton, and just say, "Are you gonna be okay?" Uh. I have a lot of people to apologize for, too, and stuff to apologize for. Um, this is, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm not really good with emotions. Um, but yes, I am going to be okay. So I know you have to apologize and all, but I have a question. Can you be my date to the club? I don't want to go alone. He blushes. Um, sure. Yay! Uh, Let's go see our friends perform. <laughs> My girlfriend's in danger. Let's go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I, I have the Clovis doll for Marie. Uh, she would kill me if she knew that I went to the park and not gotten her anything. So. Okay, but don't yeah. say Clovis in front of Aya. Just, just it's a thing. Just, just... <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I got you. To the minivan. To the and minivan. To the minivan. Uh, yeah, but since my weakness is my lowest lane for Aya, I'm like in the car, like honking the horn, like, let's go. Come on. <laughs> we parked my in Goofy keys. 3, and I drove us over to Goofy 1 just to get us out of here. <laughs> I'm like waving, like, come on, come on. I somehow have the, like, the, the shiny traffic lights, you know, like, come on. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where they were, but. They're, they're, they're toy, the toy laser swords from the park. Yeah. 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 They're part of your act now. Like, like, <laughs> directing. <laughs> And that is where we are going to wrap up Heroes in the Park, the free demo game from Queers. Uh, thank you all so much for being Yay. here. Yeah. Thank Riley, Yay. thank you for playing again. That was so uh, fun. I'm always happy to. <laughs> awesome. Nikki, Kyle, welcome to the Saving Throw crew. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Ryan, always a pleasure. Steven, thank you for crafting this really fun adaptation for this game. This has been really yeah. fun. To, this is like, I love this this game. It's like... Yeah, this was so fun. The the like you said, the way like the the game is built around the idea of like people being able to be like healed and like 
like a more like a restorative justice versus like just like pure violence i think is like really beautiful and great and yeah. joyful like i've never seen a system like this and it's very refreshing to have this now in existence and um i i guess i was really touched by that one scene where he was um where the kid was kind of like being made fun of for being mocked with playing with dolls um and then called a bunch of things because um when i was a kid that exactly happened to me so it was kind of nice that that was there was a way to give back so thank you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so yeah if you guys like this uh if you at home watching this thank you again for tuning in for this if you like it we are on kickstarter uh we're well past our goal the game is happening yeah yeah for sure happening but there are plenty more unlocks to have we're so many cool adventures so many amazing pre-made characters uh like carol which riley thank you so much for so fun characters like everyone <laughs> else has had like play testing time and carol was just like oh, i mean we, we have her <laughs> so, carol you. makes her own makes her own uh roll out so carol is important <laughs> carol thank you is, carol's so great oh yeah she was it's fun. funny it's funny because in the last time i played it we, we we made Carol into Mike. I was playing Willie, and Carol ended up being her girlfriend by the end of the game. So it's like funny that now we're like <laughs> playing. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, special thanks to Isago, our, uh, the creator of Queers. You can read uh, the manga online. It is free. I highly recommend it. Uh, we And also, if you back the game, you will get a fully translated physical copy of the comic. So it's going to be very oh. cool. Um, so, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok. It's the only social media platform I'm on because millennial. I'm banned. Listen, I'm banned from Twitter for life because I told a turf to jump in traffic, and I do it again. <laughs> you can find me on TikTok at the Professional Hobbit. Um, Kyle, where can they find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter uh, at at Stroud Kyle and uh, Facebook under my name. Uh, I have a, a voice actor page. And um, you can also find me at my personal website, kylestroud.com. All right. Thanks, Very guys. Cool. And Mr. Ryan Omega. Hi, I'm Ryan Omega. You could find me on Twitter under Ryan OMGA. You could also find me on Life Action Roleplay. Um, in fact, tomorrow I'm going to be play, uh, um, hosting a game of Boardroom Fake Horde, of which. Oh, what's that? oh um, it's a game where um, fairies um, from old tales are trying to become famous in order to remain immortal because their time is running out. And we just happen to have um, Mr. Toothy over here. Hey, um, how you doing? Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Toothy over here. Like, Steven is like a cast member of mine in this game, and he's amazing. <laughs> he is so <laughs> amazing. To, uh, the cast is amazing, and is Steven cast. is great. Yeah, I'm a red cap who uh, wants to be a stunt coordinator, but I need blood to uh, stay alive. So I'm having fun. Yep. <laughs> My God, that's awesome. <laughs> Madame Mickey. Rules. Where can they find you? Uh, yeah, so I occasionally will stream on Twitch at Nick's at night with a K, K N I G H D 88. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a playthrough of Near Replicant pretty soon. So we'll Ooh, see how yeah. it goes. I've been pretty inconsistent. But Hopefully going to get back to that. Um, also on Twitter at Nick's at Night and Nikki Wong. So you can look me, look me up there. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, uh, Riley, who is a queen who we must stand? Where can they find you? You can find me on uh, Twitter at Riley J. Silverman and Instagram at Riley Silverman. And you can find me on Wednesday nights right here on Saving Throw Show as I am the GM for Dice Ex Machina, our Theros D&D show. Uh, last week, I left my players in the middle of essentially a game of Hades. They're in a, they're in a labyrinth in, in ancient Greece that they can't escape from. And they have to keep <laughs> they, Essentially, every time they die, they start back over again in the labyrinth. And that's where we're picking up this week. So I, I, I ended last week with a total party kill. And then a total party revival, and the, the beginning of the labyrinth. So I love that. Plays out. Yes. I, 
I nice. don't know how it's gonna work yet, and I, I have I've painted myself into this fun corner as a DM. So it's gonna be fun to see that play out on Wednesday. That's Wednesday night on this channel at uh, 8 p.m. Pacific time. And then also, uh, Ryan and I both are currently doing voices for a Vampire the Masquerade scripted audio drama podcast. It's a murder Sick. mystery called Port Saga, and I believe that this week is the first episode that I will be appearing as my yes! character Ooh, Zelda. Yeah. I'm so excited! Fuck so yeah. I believe so. I don't. I, I think I might have one line to so get. Don't don't get too excited but i i have i have i have stuff coming up but i i love the character i'm playing and ryan was actually very wonderful to suggest me to rachel who created the show so check out port saga on uh, on wherever you get your podcast the, the first episodes are fantastic yeah. actually i didn't read the scripts that i wasn't in so that when i listened to the podcast i could listen to it as a fan and it's really really good so far and there's some really interesting choices that are made with like audio um like the like the Malkavian who is the main character of the story he experiences his madness of music and that becomes a didactic sound for the podcast and it's so genius such a genius thing to have happen so uh yeah it's a it's a really yeah. cool vampire murder mystery and and ryan and i are both on it and a lot of other great people as well so very cool um i completely forgot to mention uh my show here on saving throw show new pantheon academia will be coming back very oh, soon so great. check out socials Woo. for that uh, I also left on a pretty big cliffhanger for our new season, so it's a great jumping on point. Um, though, Riley, I have to ask, if it is based on uh, Hades, how naked is everyone? Um, is as many, <laughs> I mean... Because that game's, like, everyone in that game is, one, very attractive, and two, wearing very little. Yeah, uh, I mean, they're about as naked as a as a cartoon character on a video game can be, and it's that level of it, we'll say. Hell yeah. Um, I, I, I'm thinking at least one cast member who does wear a pretty like low level of clothing on the show, but I don't nothing nothing terrible, nothing nothing like we get us kicked off Twitch, but yeah. yeah, no nipples on Twitch. That's the number one rule. Um, yep. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for playing tonight. It has been a wonderful time, and a very special thanks to Dom Zook uh, for making this possible. Man, very much appreciate it. Thank you, awesome Dom. Thank thanks, you. Dom. Thanks, guys. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, I know we went a little long, but thank you for sticking out. If you like the game, check us out on Kickstarter. We got seven days left, and we have some amazing things to unlock. So with that, this has been the RPG Exploration Society here on Saving Throw Show. I've been I've been your host, Stephen Pope, and uh, hey, we'll catch you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.